What's up, my dudes? Jesse Mails here, backwater fly fishing. Today I'm getting ready to be leaving on a trip for about a week. And we're gonna be going deep in the jungle, carrying backpacks for multiple days, looking to access some remote stretches of waterway that we think might have a lot of trout in them. Uh, there's only one way to find out, and that's to go in there, spend some time, fish the waters. And these are the types of trips I really love doing because we have no idea what we're gonna find. Um, so I figured since I'm gonna be gone for about a week, I'm gonna take you guys into the backpack, show you everything I carry in the jungle bag, and we'll just go through, I'll go through each gear item and show you all what I got. So let's check it out. All right, so let's get started. Now in advance, it's super windy out here, so if the wind's screwing up the audio on this, you just have to bear with me, I apologize for that. Um, first off, for footwear, when I'm running around, these are the Loa Renegades. Super good, sort of mid-sized boot for light backpacking or trekking. Um, really, really like these Gore-Tex, super comfy, and nothing's better than being able to run around out here in the jungle and keep some dry feet. So this is a must. Um, good pair of hiking socks. Um, it's super, super important. Terramar is pretty much what I use all the time here. And then as a hiking shirt, this is a Capilene One base layer. Um, super good for moisture wicking, so this is something I always carry. And then for pants, I like to wear longer pants when I'm in the, in the jungle, especially with all the bushes around, thorns. You never know what's there, so good pair of hiking pants. Something that's stretchy is super important. Um, and these, I think, are the quandary pants from Patagonia, so super nice. When it comes to the pack I'm carrying, this is the Osprey Volt 60. I had a Exos 58 in the past, but that one got stolen from me down here, running around in the wrong places. So now we're running around with the Volt 60. And it's a 60 liter bag. I carry a lot of camera gear, so when we go on these trips, I need something a little bit bigger while most people might get away with, you know, something below 50. That's just not an option for me. So in this access pocket here, I like to carry sort of like a little gorilla pod thing for the camera. And then I store my rain jacket here on the outside as well. So I could quickly pull that out and throw it on if it starts raining. Obviously, on the bottom here, we're going multiple days. So here's where typically I stuff the sleeping bag, which gives me a pretty good foundation to build off when I'm stacking all my heavier items in the main chamber. On the side here is a pretty hefty Kershaw machete for cutting through the, the bush and a little bit of protection while we're out there. Now up here in what I call the brain of the pack, we got some fly boxes. This is pretty much a trout fishing trip, so I got a box with some nymphs and a box with some dries and some smaller terrestrial flies in there. So can't go on a fishing trip without the flies, obviously. For a fly reel, this is the Rise from Galvin, and this is a great little reel. I'm gonna be fishing a seven foot, roughly three weight, and this reel sits on there super nice. Extremely light, looks awesome. I got a beanie. Um, what you're gonna find too is in this scenario is we're really gonna be in some cold weather. We're gonna be in high mountains. Likely it's gonna be raining, and a beanie for me is one of the best things you could have after the rain jacket, obviously. We got some blister stuff, we got some patch stuff, we got um, a water filter, we're gonna be drinking out of the rivers the whole time, so it's important, and a rain cover for this entire bag.
under the brain section you got a headlamp super important as well to have extra batteries so we got extra batteries there in the main compartment this is what I'll be putting all of my camera gear into and then that will be going down into the center of the bag um, man being out there for multiple days carrying camera gear something like these NRS dry bags are exactly what you need to make sure you don't lose any of that valuable gear especially when it's rainy season and it could be raining for three days straight on us so got that puffy jacket super important extremely lightweight and at night out there, like I said, it's gonna be cold. You're gonna need something like this. We're hammock camping as well, which means we're off the ground. So all that air is underneath you and having layers and having some warm layers like this is extremely beneficial. You got some other clothes in here, um, some base layers, sort of long john style stuff that I can keep dry switching to right before I go to bed. That's pretty much all this is gonna be. Got a bag right here. This is gonna be a food bag. Um, I'm gonna be carrying a little can of gas. Koozie just in case we find a cooler full of beer. Fork from the house and a snow peak stove to go with the gas some jungle money and another fork for some reason you got an old sort of skillet here that's going to be going on there we got a knife sharpener had a knife sharpener and that's about it in this bag here. Oh yeah, there is this old sort of fold up Gregory plate bowl type thing that I've had for years. It's all beat up, but this will come in handy when it comes time to eat. And for food, all kinds of snacks work, but on this trip, I'm gonna be bringing a whole bunch of rice and beans um, what they call salchichon, which is like a sausage, um, tortillas, peanut butter, and really that's about it. Um, I'm going to bring a bunch of that stuff and pretty much eat that high carb, high fat diet the whole time we're out there running through the mountains. And after I get home, obviously. Alright, for sleeping, this is the Hennessy hammock. Um, and this is fantastic for being out here in the woods. Um, it's got a bug screen on it and really everything you want in this type of environment where we are probably not going to have level ground. What up kid? Yeah. You want to come check it out? Yeah. All right, there you go. What is that? It's a hammock, huh? Hammock, like, yeah. Yep, and then this is the rain fly for the hammock. Rain fly. This is going to keep me dry when I'm sleeping in the woods. Okay. Yep. Uh. Right, you want to put it back in? Yeah. There you go. All right, what else? So I'll have something like this that I can carry some hot coffee in from the morning into the afternoon or some tea, and then a full some liter. Water, juice, or milk? Water, juice, and milk will be going in my other water bottle that I'll be carrying on my side of the bag and that's about it guys super simple I don't pack really anything crazy um, when I'm going out here I like to keep everything as simple as possible so just a few pieces of gear the right clothing and the ability just to get out there spend some days in the woods is always super super cool um, in not too many more months this guy will be joining me out there so that's gonna be super awesome I can't wait for that right bud yeah all right super cool thanks for watching guys um obviously leave any comments below let me know what you guys bring out on the trail with you and if you like this review give it a thumbs up share it and i'll catch you guys in a week when i get back obviously we'll have some super cool photos and hopefully some cool fishing videos for you after this trip's over so wish us luck thanks a lot